Jacksonville woman was desperate to see her husband who is fighting Alzheimer's disease and he lives in a memory care facility full time and since long term care facilities are not accepting visitors because of the pandemic, they hadn't seen each other in more than three months and she was willing to do whatever it takes to be with him and Brittany Muller has the details. The Daniels are finally able to hug each other, this after taking a job as a dishwasher. Mary says after she was hired, Rose Castle at Deerwood told her when she's finished with her shift, she's welcome to visit with the residents. What was his reaction? He saw me and he said, Mary, and, and we hugged and um, just like I had thought it would be, um, just to hold him again after 114 days is just an amazing, an amazing feeling. Mary says she can already see the difference in her husband after four days. Steve has lost 10 pounds because of the anxiety. Before the pandemic, she saw her husband every single day. He has no understanding of what I have done to get in there. He doesn't get it. And so how do we describe it to him when we don't really understand what's going on? COVID-19 pandemic isolating those in long-term care facilities. Governor Ron DeSantis extended the ban of visitors another two months on top of the past four. But Mary says the threat of loneliness is a far greater danger. Dementia patients need contact. Their brain needs stimulation to keep alive. And when they don't have that stimulation, when they don't have physical touch, their brain just slowly is dying. The window visits were not enough. The pair have been married 24 years. Many people ask Mary, why doesn't she bring Steve home? I could bring him home. But he's back to being locked into a house, being, and I have to work. I'm only 57 years old, and I have to work to pay for his care. So I can't be here with him. So it's really a difficult decision.